Yes. You're a bold, right? Soap or shampoo? Both. See, I asked another guy that, and he said the same thing. <laughs> Why would you use both? Like, is it different things at different times, or? No, I haven't seen a bottle of shampoo in a long time. <laughs> and we are back between two Yetis with Aaron Leatherwood from RMK. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How you been? It's day four, Miami Boat Show, getting towards the end of the fourth day. And uh, Aaron, tell us, we got a little bit of the lowdown from Brittany the other night about sure. the yard. But uh, just tell us real quick, the yard and what do you do? So uh, everyone knows the yard, but uh, it's, it's under complete re-emergence, right. uh, rebranding, uh, bringing back the new RMK Merrill Stevens. So we've got this, this phenomenal history, uh, and, and uh, it's been a bit neglected mm -hmm. for the past few years, right. uh, but we've got fantastic new owners and really uh, investing in the infrastructure. Uh, and giving it the uh, the investments it needs to re-emerge. And that's really to bring the big, big projects back to Miami, because at the moment they go north to Fort Lauderdale and Palm Beach. Of course, of course. Uh, th there's, there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, high-quality yacht repair in Miami in, yep. in the recent years. There's some, uh, but not enough. Yep. Uh, so that's our goal, is to, to really uh, sort of bring that option back to uh, both uh, local mm -hmm. Miami uh, yachters uh, uh, and as well as anyone else that, that may be looking at the U.S. or South Florida as an option. Because Merrill Stevens, it's been around for many, many years, hasn't it? But what was the history before the new owners bought it? Was it just fell into a little bit of disrepair and people so, weren't really coming? Or? Yeah, exactly. I, I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't a part of it through those years, so mm -hmm. it's a little bit difficult to speak to exactly how it got to uh, the point it was at. But... Uh, certainly, uh, there was some turnover. There was some different ownership there uh, that perhaps didn't give the uh, the yard the attention and the capital investments it needed yeah. uh, to continue to meet the demands of today's super yacht clients. Absolutely. So uh, the goal now is, uh, as as my owner, as my boss tells me, restore it to its former glory. Yeah. Uh, and he's happily uh, investing in state of the yard equipment, uh, new 2,700 ton ship lift, new workshops the whole bit. Uh, so the entire North Yard facility uh, is, is uh, completely re-engineered and made new again. The South Yard facility, they look at each other across the river, the South Yard facility uh, will receive enhancements and upgrade, uh, you know, facelift and, and, and the, the needed upgrades there. But the infrastructure there is, is in good shape and, and doesn't necessarily need to be renewed. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, key features to enhancing that south yard is also replacing uh, the older travel lift mm -hmm. with uh, a new, slightly larger machine. Uh, again, to uh, to facilitate the demands, you know, the, today's demands of larger yachts in Miami. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, and your history a little bit. I mean, you've worked around boats, big boats, for many many years now, haven't you? So you you know the demands and the specific requirements that a yard needs, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, my uh, my background started on uh, commercial shipping, okay. much much larger uh, than than you know, let's say the the uh, 50, 60 meter yachts that we're working with today. Very different clientele. Uh, but they just uh, need it going, right? It's like, of course. As long as it's running, you're making money, right? Of course. So uh, I'm an engineer by trade. Okay. Uh, turned uh, project manager, uh, amongst uh, you know other uh, other things. Uh, that's just really. Uh, facilitated super yacht repair in South Florida. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of this industry. I think it's, uh, it's a fantastic uh, place to be mm -hmm. uh, and a fantastic destination for these super yachts. Uh, and w you know, we wanna be a part of uh, continuing to grow uh, the capabilities of South Florida and the US super yacht industry. Absolutely, I, mean, I do find it quite interesting with the yards especially. You all guys kind of work with each other, right? Absolutely. It, the idea is to make more boats come here and having more yard space available is only going to attract more clients, right? I think uh, this is the only way, you know, as much as I am pro RMK Merrill Stevens, uh, I'm pro industry. Yeah. Uh, and the more that we can do to, uh, to support each other and uh, support, uh, let's say, my competition on the river or other yards that may not necessarily be my competition, but, but help them to also meet uh, the demands the more uh, vessels will recognize the capabilities, particularly in Miami, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a fantastic destination. There's everything here that they could possibly want. Uh, it's it's just been a little bit inaccessible in the past few years. So we're gonna Absolutely. we're gonna renew that accessibility. Can we talk a little bit about? I see you're the board of directors for US CPR Association. Yeah, brand new uh, to to that. 
that and well super, done. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, but but uh, just super excited. I uh, hope to, to really get involved more in workforce development. Uh, you know the types of things that we're talking about now that yep. that are needed to, to keep a very robust pipeline and, and support the fantastic tradesmen that make this industry what it is. Absolutely. And 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 uh, the craftsmen that are needed to to uh, continue to refit and repair these super yachts. Uh, Absolutely. You know, uh, I don't have to tell you, the, the technology is, is advancing every day, yep. and we've got to continue to train and educate and certify our, tra our tradesmen, and we've got to make this an attractive industry uh, for, for, younger pe for younger people to, to enter and stay in, right? Yep. So it's, it's a pretty simple formula of recruitment and retention. Yep. Uh, it's a pretty attractive industry, and I think that uh, businesses like RMK Merrill Stevens have a responsibility uh, to, to uphold that and make that available. Absolutely. I mean, I'm just seeing in the last couple of years with Salty Jobs, yeah. trying to get the young people into it, which is great. Absolutely. And the US CPR Association. I mean, everyone worked pulling together right. I think with the MIASF to really make the industry strong. Absolutely. Because this is great where all super yachts in the world should come, right? I think so. I think it, it should be an option. Uh, I think that uh, the collective mindset uh, of the marine industries in South Florida to uh, to work together to it to attract uh, these 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 clients uh, and make make it known that it's. Uh, it's not a fragmented industry. Yeah. Uh, it can be cohesive. Uh, there's no other place in the world that, that offers uh, the opportunities for all of this refit and repair that can be found right in South Florida. Absolutely. Well, are we going to see you at Fort Lauderdale as well? Absolutely. I'm looking Perfect. forward to it. Perfect. And we'll see you at the yard, okay? Absolutely. Aaron, Anytime. Thank you, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.